everyone. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that's been happening recently. I've getting a lot of questions about, and that's talking about the grading buckets for the different progress or periods and how exactly those grades work and average and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into a grade sheet. So the question, first question I'm getting is where is progress one on my for quarter two? And that's a common question. And you have to remember that the uh, grading period you're currently in is activated by default. So you do have to go back and turn back on progress period one to get that working. So again, to do that, we go over here to settings on the right side and then we enable those grading periods so we can see them. Okay, so now I can see my P1, P2, so on. Okay, now we're past progress period one, which makes that a, a locked grading period, a locked, a locked bucket is what they call it. And so that means I can make changes to um, the grades in this, this section, but it's not actually going to adjust my P1 grade. So for example, if I enter scoring mode and I change this test grade to zero, you can see it did not change my P1 grade at all because that's locked, but it did change my quarter two and semester average. Okay. Something else you also want to notice is it's not affecting any grades in progress period two. So if I add an assignment, to uh, this quarter or this this bucket, progress two, the only grades that are going to show up there and be affected in that are grades inside that grading period. So uh, it's not going to average all of P1 in with P2. It's just going to be the P2 grades and P1 will just be the P1 grades. The quarter is the actual overall, all three grading periods inside that quarter. Hope this helps.